Dorota Pańska International, new artist and educator here and today we are going to do those coffin shaped nails on the tips and I will show you a step by step how to do it. So I'm going to start with pushing back the cuticles and I have kept two nails uh, empty just so I can show you on two of them. So I would push back on the one hand, I would push back the cuticles on the other hand and then using um, 180 grit I'm just going to scratch the surface of the natural nail plate we have removed some previous set on those nails so and applying a fresh one so with the coffin shape it is pretty difficult actually to reshape the nails once the natural nail is too uh, too long okay so i'm just filing the free edge doing exactly the same on the other hand and then we are going to apply the tips. So sometimes I sculpt, sometimes I apply the tips. On this step, we on this set, we are going to put the tips. I'm taking a blue scrap, which is a nail dehydrator, and I'm just properly dehydrating the nail plate and doing the same on the other nail, and then using an extra dehydrator on the one and on the other nail as well. Okay, now I'm just going to apply the tip. and on you have to wait for the nail dehydrator to dry sometimes i put the fan to speed up this process and then i can measure the size okay so i've got the size for this finger wait for it to dry and then I'm going to measure this one and I've got this one as well okay first nail is ready almost and the tip has the pocket so I'm just going to clip this pocket and I always clip the pockets a little bit if I'm working with the fill wheel or if I'm working with the half a wheel like tips I would always clip the pocket and then take a nail glue and apply it the glue into the pocket and then stick that in make sure it's nice and straight and then hold it and count it so, so some tips would take it longer time to set and uh, some tips will take it quicker also is depending on the amount of the glue you have used as well and then I release the tip I do it the same on this nail so clip the apply the glue And this nail likes to grow down, so I need to kind of place it a little bit up the way because I don't want it to come down too much. And then wait for the glue to set. I always do a kind of counting in my head. And you could count to like 20 seconds even so, that is the safest way sometimes 10 seconds is enough as well then remove the excess of the glue with the clear wipe and then trim the tip you want to really wait a little bit before you trim it as well just so the the glue got the chance to set so normally I would apply it on all the nails and then they would be ready to file now I'm just going to be very careful with filing in case if the glue didn't set yet and I'm taking the side walls I want to have a nice coffin shape so you're almost filing into the v-shape one side other side and you keep changing your file don't file too long in one side because then you might end up over filing this side
straighten it up a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to scratch the surface of the tip, like making sure it's all matte. Blend the difference. So I'm starting at the corner, blending on the top, and then going down the way. Like those corners re really need to be strongly blend in. Okay, and do the same on this one. So one side. other side I tend to always relax my model hand a little bit just so I know what I'm doing straighten it up scratch the surface of the tip blend the difference for any shiny places on the natural meal and that's our tips ready for the gel application so in case I have touched my model meals I would take a new dehydrator and dehydrate again but don't touch it on the tip if you do it on the tip then it is going to crack so this is really important that you are not doing it on the tip and then extra new dehydrator and same on the other hand extra new dehydrator universal air bond and again only on the natural new plate And now we can apply the gel. So I'm using the fiber gel and soft pink. This time for a change I can show you also the color in the pot. And I will start applying a first nice and thin layer on the entire needle. So nice and thin layer. Cap those free edge. Nice and thin layer. And again peel the client's needle folds down and cap those free edge. inside my client hands are so freezing cold that cold that the gel goes solid and I had to heat it up a little bit on the heater so um, if the gel is too warm you can put it outside for some time just to cool it down and if it's uh, too too cold then you would just um, put it on the uh, close to the heater and wait for it to warm up <clears throat> perfect change the hands now I'm picking up another scoop of the product and I'm going to build up my extensions first of all applying a nice and thin layer on the entire needle again so nice and thin layer and my gel is like a water so I wouldn't be able to build the apex in a one go like I have to put it at, uh, close to the heater and you can see it it goes on like a water but then it's actually becoming more solid once it hits my client's needles. Very difficult set for today. And I'm working more to the middle because by the time I finish application of the gel, the gel is going to run into those places. Okay. Change. Do it exactly the same on this needle. So nice and thin layer, nice and thin layer on the entire needle, peel this needle folds down, you really want to get the product everywhere, same here in the corner, then pick up the scoop of the product and again build up our apex, more to the middle, so only the middle, 
you can also direct the client kneel down the way so it is easier for you to control the product and then smooth it out change and then then just because the gel was pretty thin i'm just going to kind of smooth it out with an extra touch up of the product change okay give it a proper cure then do the same on this one i'm just checking for any places i want more product and slide this hand on top we are going to put some sugar and some snowflake on those nails as well so i just have to wait for my product to cure and then i can shape it properly but that gives me a time to clean my desk a little bit i take the right hand okay so the first nail is ready uv cleanser to remove any nail uh, any sticky layer and now we can shape it so one side nice and straight look for my filing lines other side and you keep swapping like one side other side one side other side blend everything around the cuticle area straighten up the free edge and smooth the entire nail Okay, that's me happy with this nail. So I will take a buffer and just buff it. It's a 100 degree buffer, so it creates lots of scratches. The nail is looking the same after the buffer, like it would look um, with the file. But the buffer takes a bigger uh, surface of the nail at the one time, and we are able to kind of give a nicer shape to it. That's why I'm buffing the nails. For the acrylics, you have to watch it, because if you over buff it, um, then the gel might not stick to it. I will check a client view as well and just a little bit more blending around the cuticle area and I take the other one so do exactly the same remove the inhibition layer Relax my model hand. One side, other side, one side, other side. Blend everything around the cuticle area. and smooth it out. My model is really stiff.
very gentle like because I'm almost there with my shape Hey, we've got really nice natural newts. The only trouble is they are a little bit once they grow longer They tend to some of them grow down the way, but also they a little bit more of the ring um, bell shape is it ring bell shape? Do you say it? Bell shape. When we try to give them those kind of nice and slim look. Okay, so back it's nice. I can even make it a little bit slimmer. Then remove any dust and tidy up the cuticles. So the cuticles I always tidy up twice. First time before the gel application. And then if there is any more to be removed, I'm doing it after, uh, after the filing. Just before the gel polish. And then on the other hand, Now we can start painting them. So on this new we are going for a sugar. So I'm going to leave it at empty. This new is going to be beautiful white. So I want to also push back the cuticles just before I start painting. And I'm using 173 Tic Tac White. It's a really nice and beautiful shade of white. I really love it. So nice and close to the cuticle. Awesome. And then on this new we are going to use a 158 color. So that's 158 color. And it's a really beautiful pink. I think just perfect shade for this time of the year. Honestly, I love it so much. I actually have it on my nails too. So very close to the cuticle. And the same shade of pink on this one. Again, nice and close to the cuticle. Awesome. Cook it inside. Now just going to clean those nails. And do exactly the same. You can see it, I'm kind of pushing the cuticle back as well when, I, when I'm painting. For this new, it's, I like to also push it on the sides a little bit, a bit and that's just because of the shape of the natural nails. And I really need to get the gel polish in there. 
I can leave a small bit empty on this corner there and the reason for it is just to minimize those um, to fix kind of the shape of the natural new and same so pulling down this corner a lot and leaving empty the corner at the free edge so kind of painting more straight than following the shape of the natural nail. I really don't want to follow the shape of the natural nail, just so we could kind of improve it a little bit. And then the white. Oh, I've got something there. And the white. So this is guys another tutorial from the salon for you and I hope you you'll learn something new and you will really enjoy it as well. Perfect, change your hands. Okay, now second layer and what else you can do is take a cuticle pusher and again push back those cuticles, especially those corners there. It is a little bit against the model, like uh, natural thing, so you need to check it if it's not sore, because it's something like which uh, which we almost shouldn't be doing as much. Uh, so I'm very careful when I'm doing it, but I want to really strongly improve this shape of the natural new. Okay. Again, very close to the cuticle, as close as you can get. And then paint the pink one. So push it back, not sore. Kick me under the table if it will be sore. <laughs> okay, and then next nail, close to the cuticle. If you liked it, this video, guys, so far, uh, hit the share button as well, just so the others can see it too. I will really appreciate any kind of shares. So I want to push this cuticle back a little bit as well. So push it back, push it back. Now with pushing back, uh, sometimes you need to be careful, like, um, especially when you're working with the red color, if you touch the gel polish with your cuticle pusher, you may actually make your client's uh, cuticles dirty with uh, the inhibition layer from the gel polish. So watch it for that. Uh, but it is perfect way to do like a second push of the cuticle after uh, for like lighter colors change. Okay, same in this one. So push it one side, push it other side of the cuticle. And you can see how much they go kind of back and this way when the client comes back for a rebalance the growth is going to be hardly visible because we have pushed the cuticle to the maximum like i find it on my nails like the growth underneath of my nails is much bigger than the growth on top of my nails and this way like honestly three weeks old nails and and you don't see uh, much of those growth so I do hardly recommend it doing it. Okay, nice and close to the cuticle. Okay. And then the white now. I bet you will be all busy soon as well with the Christmas nail designs. Like, I mean, we have been so lucky placing it here one and this is I think it's a third review, was it third? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, third review in a row and we are still in a tier one, which means we are allowed to be open. And I'm so happy for it, like I'm still able to do my clients. The clients are happy too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect, change your hands. Okay, now we need to apply the top coat for our next part of the design. So I'm just using the high shine, no wipe top gel on those nails. Okay, high shine, no wipe top gel on the entire nail.
Oh, I've got some delivery. I thought it would be some nice parcel with the new stuff, but it is not. It's just a letter, probably some bill to pay. <laughs> but I'm glad because I have received today just like a wee parcels with the nice clothes from Poland. Um, I can't wait actually to open it up. <laughs> okay, top coat on this one. I actually like them even just like this combination white and pink I think looks nice and it's matching your uh, tracksuit isn't yeah. it <laughs> it was uh, just an I don't know accident we pick up this color change or maybe like an, I don't know like I'm in a pink mood so <laughs> most of my clients is going to wear now pink nails for Christmas and before Christmas time this isn't a proper Christmas time because it's only still end of November so we are going to do a proper Christmas set next time you in mm -hmm. and probably going to go for some chromes crystals glitters and <laughs> oh I love this color so much like I think it's perfect now I've got a tiny bit of dust in there that's it gone I uh, always check uh, how the light is reflecting on your nails guys just because uh, you might find there is uh, maybe some imperfection in your top coat or a tiny bit of uh, dust landed on your nails and you really don't want to leave it on your clients nails okay change now this nail is going to be a nice and beautiful sugar so just apply the top coat and you want to kind of have a decent amount of the top coat in there so a decent amount of the top coat and then the glitter so that's the glitter which we are going to use and I think it's actually matched this color which we have used it in there perfectly so gosh those gloves restricting my movement one side a little bit can you turn it one side a little bit perfect so sprinkle sprinkle carefully other side awesome Yes, oh my goodness. I um, actually got it now. I didn't get this glitter, but I didn't have it in the house. It was in the salon. <laughs> Change your hands. It's perfect. Perfect match. <laughs> See, if your clients are unsure if they like the sugar effect, I mean, obviously, it is going to feel a bit rough for the first day. But if they if they unsure, I always suggest to my clients to get it done on the pinky. On the pinky, it's a nail which we don't use much, so that even if it's a bit rough for the first day, they are not going to feel it. But uh, after a couple of days, like uh, turn it on the other side, you wouldn't feel roughiness almost at all. Um, so basically, next day it will feel much smoother, and couple of days you don't feel anything, to be honest. But, oh my goodness, it's so just nice glitter. I'm glad we went for a sugar. <laughs> it looks so awesome. Change your hands. Okay, now we need to paint some snowflakes, so... Oh, I'm too late. I didn't heat up my gel. So, a good tip for you guys. Heat up your gel. Heat up your gel uh, just before you start painting. Um, and also, the gloves are so restricting for me to painting that I need to have my right hand uncovered as well. Otherwise, I'm not able to twist it my hand in the right directions. So, I'm just going to wait a 2-3 seconds for my... Uh, paint on French gel to heat up. I should have put actually thought about it before because it's a morning time only and uh, and it's, it was a little bit hot. Now we are going to use um, acrylic powder on top of the snail. And we are going to paint the snowflake now. This is going to be a snowflake which is going to the side. So straight line. You can start it with the dot. So you can place here a small dot so then you know where is your middle. And then another line. Now I'm not going to make it a too thick and I'm not going to make it a too large just because the acrylic powder which we are going to sprinkle on top of it is going to enlarge this design. 
Okay, one line there, another line there. So take your time painting those snowflakes. You really want to kind of make it a nice and pretty looking one. And another one. And then I'm going to paint exactly the same, a bit higher. And obviously the slower we will paint, the nicer shapes we get. And the less we talk during that. <laughs> okay. And then those two lines in here. You could see I have removed the blob of the product. Okay. And then take a Q to, uh, the dotting tool and just do a couple dots. So dotting tool and a dot. Another dot and another dot and we want some dot here as well okay so we have painted the snowflake it's hardly visible because it's white on top of the white but now we need to take the acrylic powder and I'm using a clear acrylic powder and just sprinkle the snow and acrylic powder will uh, the gel, gel will absorb this acrylic powder so it becomes thicker. You can see it, it becomes much more thicker. After we clean it, it will look even nicer. Change your hands. Okay, we are going to paint exactly the same snowflake on this hand. And obviously when we're painting on the opposite side, everything becomes much more difficult. <laughs> so, and I think it's also, oh my goodness, this is so ugly. So I'm just going to remove it. Okay, I done it for the reason, just to show you that we've got the top cut, so nothing is going to happen in there. Now, I need to paint it. It's just impossible for me to go with my hand like this, and I don't want to twist my client hand. So I'm just painting the opposite way. Okay, two. And a third one. Pick up a fresh scoop of the gel which is nice and warm okay and then paint the detail so for painting the detail you don't want to have too much product at your um, on your brush just the tip of your brush is having some product okay so just the tip of your brush i also suggest sometimes you maybe even clean your brush uh, just so it is not fully covered with the product okay then you've got more control over your brush and you can paint much thinner thinner lines okay touch up this one another one so this snowflake is pretty cute and we didn't want it to do it on the entire nail just because Haley like the designs which are not over the top so she likes the glitter, she likes the crystals. What else you like? Mostly glittered. Mostly glittered, yeah. So <laughs> glitters and crystals. So she, she don't like the freehand designs too much. That's why we are doing just a tiny, wee tiny snowflake on the side. So it's not over the top. Okay, sprinkle with the acrylic powder. And the longer you are going to wait, the, the thicker it will become, okay? So I don't want to wait too long before I cure it. Maybe a couple seconds longer. Perfect change. <laughs> and on this finger, just so we've got something white, I'm just going to do a couple, couple of the lines, really. So, like a wavy wee lines. So those ones, the first ones, are going to be thicker. So just go over it with your brush until you're happy with the thickness. Okay, another one. Okay, 
maybe a little bit thicker yeah that's a smudge better and now i'm just going to sprinkle it with the tiny bit actually yeah tiny bit of the snow effect remove the excess perfect change do the same on this one so first of all I'm just painting the lines and then I'm going to thicken them up Fill concentration on. Sprinkle. Other side. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Change. And now we need to just remove this glitter the excess of the glitter and do the lines in between but those lines need to be extremely thin now okay so as thin as you can do And we've got those cute candy design on this new change. Okay, remove the dust. Actually, the glitter, not the dust. Okay. I just need to clean my brush because there was a tiny bit of something in there. Nice and thin line. And I don't like this one. And I'm not going to leave it on my client's nails. <laughs> so just wipe it off. And again, even if we've got sugar, it is already cured, so it is no problem. We can easily wipe it off. Nothing is going to happen to the sugar. I mean, obviously, I have been washing my hands and... Oh, come on. My client is laughing now. <laughs> but not all. I don't let you go with the ugly wheels. Okay, it's my position. I just get concentrated now. That's better. I think it's also the, uh, the, the finger. I cannot twist. That's it. So the next time, uh, this is a good tip, guys, for you. We're painting and we're twisting a client new as well. So this is so easy to paint it then. Okay, so... Paint it and keep twisting the finger and then we reach it to the end. Painting and keep twisting the client finger. Perfect change. Now I just show you the final look of those uh, beautiful nails. So they are not over the top, but they've got those kind of festive feeling to it. Sugar nails, we always have to scratch it. So we scratch, scratch, scratch. 
remove any kind of rough corners, remove the excess of the glitter, remove the powder from the entire nail so you can see only this beautiful star. It has this kind of, I will try to maybe raise it, it has this kind of 3D effect to it and then clean this nail. Okay, so this is our festive, see, um, festive nail, but not over the top. And then I would clean my client's nails and apply some cuticle oil. And cuticle oil. And we needed to put something white on this nail as well, because otherwise we would have design, design, empty, empty, empty nail. <laughs> and it was no option. And we was in between like, should we put a snowflake or... Or what? And then she just says, oh, just do whatever you want. <laughs> and I take the other hand. Okay, so I'm just cleaning this hand as well. Remove the excess. Clean the nails and apply the cuticle oil. And then I can take a beautiful thumbnail picture. I show you both of them. So I'm, we're just going to wash the hands probably as well and take a beautiful thumbnail picture. I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Glittery hugs and bye for now.